am Lottie and I like to play cozy games but I love to yap about indie games even more. So here are 13 games coming out in October that are on my radar plus a few honourable mentions that aren't indie games but I'm still super excited to see them come out this month. This first game has been out for a while already, however it has only been available to play in VR. Garden of the Sea is re-releasing with a non-VR version and oh my, originally when I found out about this game only to see it was VR only, my heart was crushed and so I am beyond excited to get to finally play this game now. Garden of the Sea is a chilled out life sim all about making yourself at home on these magical islands. You'll be taking life at your own pace so step back, befriend the wildlife, go fishing, I know I'm gonna be fishing all the time, or just go off exploring on a boat somewhere. It really is up to you to decide what you'll be doing here. There will be quests for you to take on and complete with secrets and mysteries to uncover as you explore this colourful world, unlocking rewards and making progress as you go. You can also stay home and decorate with different furnishings, rearranging them how you'd like. I'm personally really excited for this game since the environment reminds me a lot of Slime Rancher and I'm, I'm just really excited to start the exploration of Magical Isles again. Tower of Dreams is a pixel vertical side scroller. You had that right. We're going up instead of to the side. Releasing into early access, you'll have to use your sword as a pogo stick, jumping on your enemies and the obstacles in your path, using them to climb the tower higher and higher. Find items along the journey that will help you on your perilous quest of getting to the very top. Each run you take will be slightly different, so always be ready for something new. If the trailer music is anything to go by, then it is quite the funky OST we're gonna have, and I'm really excited to listen to it as we play. I just, I love OST so much. Uh, well, hang on, did I just see a dragon? At Wimmel Academy, you'll be living the Witch or Wizard student lifestyle, fulfilling the goal of having a wonderful experience at the Academy. This visual novel dating sim wants you to slow down and immerse yourself in more than just the romantic aspect of the game. You can decorate your dorm, find new hobbies, get a job and befriend the other students. Oh, and don't forget, you gotta go to class. There is so much more to student life here at the academy than just finding your perfect match. With 30 plus endings to uncover, this game will be releasing into early access so do bear in mind that there may be some changes or updates later down the line. But oh, I'm so excited to meet Lumi! She looks so cute. I am just so excited for this next one. You won't believe it. I am a firm believer that we just need more dinosaur based media in the world. By all means, there is not nearly enough. Amber Isle will be helping to fulfill that hole by letting you play as a dinosaur in this Animal Crossing esque world. This game looks to have quite the heavy set of customization options, so however it is you see yourself as a dinosaur, I think you'll have a pretty good chance of being able to achieve that look. I would like to be a pink dinosaur. After finding your perfect look, you take on the task of bringing this village back to life by opening and running a shop to fit the needs of your fellow paleo folk. Using the profits you earn from working hard at the shop, you'll be able to put that money towards the island itself too. Open up new areas and decorate the land. With up to 48 new friends to meet, you gotta get to know your neighbours. They aren't all dinosaurs and after all, they'll all want to talk or just might need some help in different ways. Go on quickly now, your store will be opening soon. Take to new and great heights in Sky Ocean's Wings for Hire as you play as Glenn Windwalker, a captain. Inspired by JRPG classics, you'll be taking to the open skies and assembling a ragtag team of sky pirates to engage in strategic turn-based dogfights in order to battle against the Alliance. Progress through a touching narrative as you struggle to find your purpose all while helping those in local communities who will show their gratitude through support and loyalty. Make sure to plan your upgrades of the aircraft carefully for your team to ensure that you'll be victorious in your next fight. Europa will be set in a beautiful environment, one that reminds me so heavily of Studio Ghibli and Legend of Zelda, a moon within the shadows of Jupiter. Play as an android named Z out there looking for answers. You'll be able to glide, run and fly across this fallen utopia as you look for clues to solving how this moon civilization came to fall. Take time as you explore lakes, meadows and mountains using your jetpack in this peaceful adventure game 
learning about the last human alive. From the team behind Grizz comes another moving tale. Beba is about a young woman embarking on an adventure through a quickly dying world, being accompanied by a magnificent wolf as you try to find a new home somewhere together. I am so excited for this one because I am absolutely enamoured by this art style of this game. I just think it's so so beautiful. Play as a young woman who is linked to a little wolf pup after a traumatic experience and explore their journey together as you watch their relationship evolve and blossom through this adventure platformer. Quickly, I've got ruffians and brutes on one side and outlaws on the next. Help me catch him. Hidden Cat Outlaws is a hidden object game all about, you guessed it, finding cats. It's time to take on the role of sheriff in this hand-drawn wild west. With over 600 outlaws to find and box up, you'll have your work cut out for you for the next two hours or so. Even if this is your first day on the job, you shouldn't be forgetting to look inside the buildings to see what kind of outlaws may be lurking there. Because I can assure you, I'll bet there's at least one in there. You never know what kind of treasure you might find in the trash, so get digging, because you might find some scrap metal. In Fort World Odyssey, you'll be exploring an open world where you'll discover blueprints to help you build, collect, and fight different bots to become known as the world's greatest bot master. Play as one of the following animals as you explore multiple different environments with a companion as you discover all the secrets that hide away in this world. Customize your bot team and use their unique strength and abilities to get the upper hand as you battle other bots. Each win pushing you further and further. They up against bandits that live in the world, allowing you to collect ultimate skins for your bot. Once you think you've conquered the bot world, you can always take to the online PvP arena to see just how good you and your team really are. Saying goodbye is never easy, and sometimes you just don't want to forget the goodbyes you've said. A collection of 11 different minigames will individually tell the story of each one the good and the bad. Some goodbyes we made is a short one sitting experience that will guide you through many different emotions with varying art styles and different mechanics depending on the goodbye, ranging from moving houses while you'll play as a cheeky kid who tries to play with all your toys before being packed away, to graduating where you'll have the choice to focus on what you are singing or take a trip down memory lane and remember your experiences. I am really scared this one's gonna make me cry guys. I think it's gonna be quite touching. <laughs> You know how to drive, right? Cause I don't. <laughs> In Fruit Bus, you'll be embarking on a journey of food and friendship with a little truck. Take on the culinary adventure of running your own food truck and explore this open world as you forage for fresh new ingredients to make up a menu that the locals will love. Try out new recipes or have a go at learning their own cultural specialties and I don't think they'll be holding back from telling you what they think. I'm, I'm gonna make them all throw up, I just know it. <laughs> Drive out to new destinations to find ingredients you haven't used yet. Finding inspiration for new dishes as you travel. Customize your food truck to show off your personality and learn what drives customers in or perhaps learn what drives them away too. Plan out your kitchen to aid your interactive cooking experience as you play. In this last one you'll be helping Kuro go home in this reorganization game. Clean up a path for him, he doesn't want to leave a mess. As you go through different levels in this top-down puzzler, you'll travel through five different regions helping Kuro reorganize tears all the way to, I think, fish in 125 puzzles, all with their own mechanics. With hand-drawn art and a soft lo-fi soundtrack, you'll be sure to take it easy. Those are all my main indie games that I found and wanted to talk about this month. However, 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 the are a few games coming out that I did just want to give a quick mention because I think they'll still be kind of fun. Until Dawn is being rebuilt and enhanced for a PC experience and this was one of my favourite horror games back when it first released and so I was quite thrilled to hear it was getting redone as I had hoped it would be one day. Good Boy Galaxy will also be releasing where you'll play as a dog in space exploring an unfamiliar world. This one isn't an indie but I, I left it too late, I'm so sorry, it looks really cool. And that's everything that I have to talk about today, Bears. Thank you all so much for watching, even if there are any games that I didn't mention. Please let me know in the comments below so I can take a peek too. Bye bye!